so I have made it to Manchester. Um, I'm at the Hilton in Deansgate. I needed to get that right. I need to find the tea making facilities though. I am dying for a tea. I have decided to film my little adventures in Manchester. I do feel slightly weird, I'm not gonna lie, talking to a camera in an empty room with no one around. It feels very, very strange. Oh no, I forgot my... Oh my God, I forgot my business cards at home. I knew I was forgetting something. Okay, we have business cards. We have seven business cards to be precise. At the moment, I am just going to unpack, relax, probably grab something to eat. I promise the diet starts next week. I've been sick, okay? I can, I, I'm allowed, I'm allowed this. So I probably shouldn't have eaten those nachos. I'm really full and slightly tired, but it's okay. I'm getting ready, I've got my dress on, and I'm just doing my makeup, and I'm about to do my hair. So yes. All right, I'm not really used to doing the whole mirror camera thing, but I'm more or less done. Dress is from Guess. Shoes, I don't know where they're from. Um, face, I do myself. So Nissin Ganatra, first of all, is going to think that I am stalking him because I met him at the Asian Achievers Awards and he was absolutely phenomenal. It was literally the highlight of the night, meeting him. Try and find Nina Hussain. I'm so excited to speak to her. She's So for those that don't know, Nina Hussain, she um, presents the news. She's, oh, she's gorgeous. So along with Naga Manchesi, Nina Hussain, Th those two women in journalism are my absolute die-hard favourites. Like, I fangirl over them so much. Um, so I'm really, really excited to see Nina Hussain because she's hosting the awards tonight. Mind the door, please. Got quite a good seat. That's the stage there. So... I'm on my own on my table at the moment, no one's come and sat next to me, but it gives me a chance to go through like the call list and the order of stuff, so very excited. In the last four years, the Asian Media Awards has brought us a wealth of talent. We have already had a momentous year so far in terms of breaking news, the emergence of new talent and entertainers on social media forums. Okay, so we are here to present the best vlog, and the award goes to a very inspiring man. His name is Jay Shetty. Thank you to DJ Nihal, Noreen Khan for actually featuring my work on their studio shows. Thank you so much to them, and thank you, big thank you to the Huffington Post and Ariana Huffington for believing me in the work from the beginning. So thank you so much, everyone. Have a wonderful evening. But we must always, always remember that it is always in the backwaters where a lotus flower rises. And it's always in the murk in the field that this flower stands up strong. And on that subject, I'm so, so excited to announce um, this year's winner for the best video channel, 2016. <laughs> I'm so happy to be accompanied by my family and team for sitting over there. <laughs> you know, I worked with such a fantastic core creative team for it and uh, it became something that I never imagined it to become and also, also a young British Muslim girl um, that voice I feel like it's, it's not represented on stage and on screen so to get that voice out there I thought that was really important and um, I had a couple of people come up to me and say thank you for telling my story so sometimes it's nice to be on stage make all the mistakes for people then they can just go okay at, at least it happens and yeah, so yeah, that, that project. Without further ado, it is my honour to present the 2016 Best TV Character Award goes to Nitin Ganacho. <laughs> has just won and I'm gonna go and interview him. <laughs> it feels good, it feels solid, it feels um, 
a bit more than plastic, it feels good. Nice. Yeah. Nice. It's good. I'm pleased. I'm you, very proud of it. You weren't expecting it. No, I really wasn't. I was sitting there going, well, what's my, uh, what's my losing face like? And uh, what is your losing face like? <laughs> Really happy, really happy for you. I'm really, really happy for you. And what was your winning face like? Same thing, same, same kind of yeah. constipation face <laughs> I've got. No, I'm really pleased. Uh, it was yeah. really, it's really touching. Again, I don't feel like it's for me because I didn't write the character. Mm -hmm. They did. So but you it's, delivered it's really, it. Yeah, I suppose I delivered it. Yeah, but I'm too modest to take all the credit. But actually, I did a lot of the work. Um, what advice would you give to upcoming actors? Because I have to ask a sensible question. Uh, uh, the sensible answer is have a plan B. Okay. The sensible answer is have a plan B because you might just change your mind. You can always change your mind. It's not yeah. a, a failure thing. But at the other, at the other, the other thing is I can only say be just be very, very good at what you do. Just got my interview with Nitin. <laughs> thanks to the Asian Media Awards team for making this happen. It is truly an honour to be here tonight. Now I want to thank my editors and colleagues at Channel 4 News and ITN. TV News is a team game and they really make it all possible. I want to express my gratitude especially though to the people who have let me into a little part of their lives and allowed me to tell their stories which is the reason why I wanted to be a journalist in the first place. I think it went really well. Uh, I'll try and find out a bit later, but I think the, the mood in the room was really nice, welcoming, and I think people really appreciated all the talent they saw today. I thought they were an incredible event. I mean, just the breadth of categories, and really, uh, the young people were the ones that amazed me the most, that are just, um, in you know, a lot of the people that we met had done their work or formed their companies within the last year so to be already nominated and some of them to win awards tonight is just incredible i mean it's just breathtaking i think you've got to be a news junkie mm -hmm. don't get into this if you don't want to uh, be on top of everything all of the time and now that's much harder than ever because of social media and i think you've really got to want to talk to everybody and anybody yeah. about the stories that they've got to tell and you've got to want to write you've got to be a passionate storyteller and whatever that is, whatever the story is.